It is a frightening time to be driving around the Phoenix, Arizona area. There have been nearly a dozen confirmed shootings in and around the city's interstate highways in at least two weeks. The Arizona Department of Public Safety says detectives are now questioning a person of interest in the highway shooting incidents. Authorities say 19-year-old Oscar de la Torre Munoz was taken into custody and charged with possession of marijuana. He was not charged or has not been charged in connection with the highway shootings. Police say the investigation has not been closed into those shootings. CNN Sarah Seidner reports police found out about the man through tips and with their ongoing investigation. After nearly two weeks with at least 11 vehicles hit with bullets or projectiles along an eight mile stretch of Interstate 10, DPS troopers have detained and are now questioning a man in connection with the shootings. We calling, we're calling him a person of interest, uh, but we really wanted to talk to him about a lot of things. So it's fair to say this will probably come up. But we, we basically want to spend some time with him and find out what he knows. The man along with the woman were detained at a traffic stop. Investigators released the woman but continue questioning the man. What can you tell me about what the circumstances were that led you to tip related or was this something that investigators figured out? It's reasonable to say it was a combination of the two. But no one has been arrested and police are still asking for citizens to call in tips. This as two other incidents, one along Highway 17 and another off Interstate 10, are being investigated to determine whether they are linked to the recent shooting spree. Interstate 10 has been a target zone for a serial shooter or shooters. Cars to big rigs have been hit during all times of the day and night with no apparent pattern. Tremaine Jackson is one of many DPS troopers driving the shooting zone. He says the department is adding numerous resources to the investigation. It's never a one man, one man situation. And that's uh, from the from the troopers to the police department to the citizens. Uh, it's it's a total team effort. This is not the first time police and the public here have had to deal with serial roadway shootings. A decade ago, eight people were killed as two gunmen stalked the roadways in Phoenix. That case took more than a year to solve. The man heading the current investigation was a lieutenant working at the Phoenix Police Department during those shootings. That was what they called a serial shooter case. It, they were literally driving down roads and with a uh, 410 caliber shotgun, they were shooting people walking down the street and killing them. Let's go to CNN Sarah Seidner. She's there for us in Phoenix, Arizona. Sarah, good morning to you. Let's talk about this person of interest and why police may believe he knows something about these I-10 shootings. Yeah, they're not giving any details. And really what they've said now is that they have been asking him about a myriad of things, including questioning him about the I-10 shootings. They are not calling him a suspect, only a person of interest. They have not arrested him on any charges that have anything to do with the shooting. They, ha they have, however, arrested him on a marijuana possession charge. Uh, he's a 19-year-old man who's local. He's from uh, Avondale, Arizona. Uh, he is his name Oscar Munoz. Uh, they have sent out a booking photo of him, but they're being very clear in stating that this is a, a much lesser charge, a charge of possession of marijuana. This is not a charge to have anything to do with the shootings that have been going on here for the past uh, 14 or so days. Uh, what they are saying, though, is that they are continuing to question him about these shootings, not knowing if he knows anything or not, but they brought him in, detained him yesterday uh, because of a tip and also because of the work of investigators. We'll just have to wait and see how this plays out at this time. And that investigation is but ongoing, not a closed case by any means. Sarah Seidner, thanks so much. And, you know, even with this latest development, police are still asking for any tips from the public. So if you have any information about the shootings along I-10, call the Arizona DPS. That phone number there on your screen, 602 644 5805.